Hi your tens. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do uh, this bottle tutorial um, that we'll be doing in class. I figured a video would be easy. I you guys can pause it as you're following along uh, and also go at your own pace as well. But mainly so you can pause it. Uh, I'm going to go relatively fast. So yeah, if you do need to pause the video, please feel free to do so and follow along with me step by step. So I'm going to teach you how you guys could do a revolve on, on shape. And for that, we're going to draw this uh, this bottle. Um, so we're going to use the front plane. And I'm going to go to sketch, and I'm going to click on front, so it looks front on. And for this, I'm going to use a bunch of lines. And every time I draw a line, I'm going to type in the measurement that I want it to be. So the trick with this is, is to do one click, move your mouse, and then click. And then before you do anything else, type on your keyboard what measurement we want the line to be. Uh, so that'll make a bit more sense when you have a go at doing it and when you watch me do this. So the first line that we need to do is going to be from the origin point, from this center point. And I'm going to click once and then move my mouse straight up. So make sure you've got a straight line. And then I'm going to click. And then before I do anything else, so before I click or draw another line, I'm going to type on my keyboard what measurement I want that line to be. So that's going to be 100 mil. And then I'm going to press enter. And then that makes that line 100. So now I'm ready to keep drawing other lines that I want. So where you draw the line doesn't matter as long as it's just trying to draw straight lines. And then we're going to type in what we want. So we're going to do this for all of these lines that we're going to do. So the next one's going to be 7 mil. And then we're going to come down 3 mil. And then across 7 again. And then down 15. And then across 14. And then we're going to go straight down and then straight across. So Again, if you're struggling with that, trick is uh, click to start the line and then go up to the top, click, and then type on your keyboard. So you don't need to click on the number or anything. You just type what you want the numbers to be straight away. And then you can keep doing that process all the way back to the beginning. Okay, so now we've got like a solid shape. The other thing I'm going to show you is how to do a curved, so a fillet on a sketch. So I could revolve this and then add this fillet later, but I'm going to add it now so I can see what it looks like. So new button for us up the top here, sketch fillet. And I need to click on a dot, so the corner or something. So I'm going to click on this corner and this corner. And I need to make that 10 mil. So I need to double click on radius 5. Type in 10, enter. And then I'm also going to do a really little fillet up the top here. So I'm going to click on that. And I need to make that, so double click and make that 3 mil. Just a little one up top. So that's like my profile done. So now I'm going to revolve it. So the revolve button is next to the extrude button. So still up the top left. So don't go to extrude, go to revolve. So I'm going to click on that revolve button. And there's an extra click that we need to do. So in the red box here, it says, what is the revolve axis? So I need to click on that red box until it goes blue. And then I need to tell it what line I want to revolve this around, which will be the middle, the very first line that we drew. So I'm going to click on that line and then it'll automatically revolve it for us. So then we've got like a, a bottle shape. So I'm going to green tick or press enter, whichever one you are more comfortable doing. Uh, just for a second, I'm going to turn off all of my planes. Let's see, we can have a look at that. <clears throat> and now we're going to keep drawing the bottle. So from this point, I'm going to add some uh, extra detail to the top. So I need to click on the top of the bottle and go to sketch. And then look onto that. I'm going to use that same origin point, the middle, and make a circle and make this 5 mil. And then I'm going to extrude that and make that... 10 mil, press enter, enter. So then if I look onto the side, you can see that we're starting to build the bottle up a bit more. So same process, I'm going to click on the now the top of the bottle, which is that little dot, 
I'm going to go to sketch, draw another circle on top of there, which you can either do from this angle or from front on, that's fine. And then this one's going to be 7 mil. And then I'm going to extrude that 5 mil. So that's just to show you guys that it doesn't matter what size the surface is, you can still extrude something that's bigger than what that surface is. So I'm going to enter that. So now I've got like the beginnings of my, my bottle. And now we're going to do the top, uh, like the dispenser of the bottle. So for this, I need to turn, I'm going to turn my planes back on. And we are going to use the front plane again. So I need to click on the front plane and I'm going to go to sketch and I'm going to look onto the front and then I'm going to zoom in to the top of the bottle. And we're going to draw, if you can imagine what uh, like a dispenser, like a sanitizer bottle looks like, we're going to draw that kind of profile. So I'm going to use this tool, which is a spline tool. So I'm going to click on spline. And to do this, you basically uh, do two clicks. And then the next click, it'll create like a curve between those two points that you've made. So I'm going to draw this shape. You guys can create whatever shape you want that's more or less the same as this. The important thing is that the first click that you do, make sure that it's inside this extrude that we've just done. So don't do it above, don't do it right on the line, just like a little bit in, because when we extrude it, we want it to be part of the bottle. Okay, so if you start drawing above it, when we extrude it, it's not going to be part of the bottle. So I need to start drawing from around about where my mouse is now. And then we're going to go out to one side. And because I've got spline turned on, like I said, it makes like a curvy shape. So you guys can make that look like whatever you would like to. Just make sure that it goes back to the beginning where you started. Okay, so I can tell that it's going back to the start point because my shape has gone gray, which means I've got a solid shape. So now I can extrude that. So if I look to the side of my bottle, because we drew it on the front plane and because our bottle is revolved from that center point, when I go to extrude, uh, I can actually click on this extra button, which is called symmetric. So I can make this extrude uh, symmetrical from both sides. And then I can change that depending on what I want to look like. So 8 mil, for example, might look okay. And I can see that that is 4 mil on both sides because it's symmetrical. So then if I go, okay, it'll add that shape onto the top of the bottle and it's all still one part. Um, and then I could do like a very, very, very little fillet. So like one mil, just to make that uh, look a bit better. Um, and then the last thing that we're going to do is similar to what we did for the, well, some of you did for the camera and add a bit of detail to this part of the bottle to make it look like a bottle. So we've got this flat surface here. So I'm going to click on that, go to sketch look onto the top and I'm going to draw a very, very, very small circle uh, between this top line or well, this line here. Uh, I'm going to make that two mil just for a rounded number. And I'm going to use the pattern circular pattern tool. So next to linear pattern, there's a little drop down menu, go to circular pattern, click on that. And then I need to tell it what I want to pattern. So that circle, I need to click on that. And then if I zoom out a bit, you can see that by default, it gives me three of what I want. So if I double click on that times three, I can set how many I want. So I think I did 20, but depending how big you did that circle, you could do more or less of these little circles. Maybe I'll do 25. So it gives you a rough idea of what it's going to look like in this section. And then once you're happy, you just left 
mouse click just off in space and then it creates all of those circles for you evenly around that that center point so now when I extrude I can remove and I want it to go not through the bottle but the opposite way so I just got to click on that arrow which I'm clicking on now and then you can see that it's going to cut out this this shape all the way around it so if that looks okay I can press enter or green tick so then if I zoom back out a little bit you can see that it's added that detail relatively easy rather than trying to draw you know 25 circles myself I can just get on shape to do it for me um, and then from here I can turn off the planes again just so it looks a bit better and uh, you can also add a little bit of color so add appearance um, you know whatever you would like to do and you can edit just one part of it as well by going just the face for example uh, or you can edit appearance of a feature so that last feature that we did we can add appearance to feature and you know make that a specific color um, or just a surface you can right click on that and edit appearance there we go so once you've already got doing that you can take a screenshot and email that to me